Hi, I'm going to just do a very quick overview of this niche market. You'll see what I'm going to do is first use some tools that I always use when I'm doing research on Amazon. One of them is these are all Chrome extensions. I'm also in Chrome incognito window. Uh, by being in an incognito window, it means that it's not technically being influenced by things that I've researched before. So I am using a Chrome extensions called AMZ Suggestion Expander, uh, DS Amazon Quick View Extended, and Keywords Everywhere. And all of those uh, tools are going to show me and help me see the potential of the market for the zodiac signs. So we'll, the first sign is Aries. And we can look at Aries and the expander will show me a bunch of different words that are often searched in conjunction with the word Aries. So let's look at notebook. So that gets 30 a month. We'll look at zodiac because we're trying to think of how we're going to title our book. So that zodiac notebook Okay, it's typed in, but it doesn't get searched a ton. Of course, another thing to understand is that uh, Aries is in March and April, and so people search for it a lot more at that time. And the other one is uh, astrology. So zodiac and astrology are the two words that we want to take a look at. So zodiac astrology, we'll take a look at that. And we're going to go down to the books category. It's searched 6,000 times a month. Now these are Google volumes. Amazon does not really share how much people search, uh, what their category, uh, the different categories. So, but we can see that people are searching on Google. So Aries Astrology it only has 916 books in it so I would think about labeling my book something with Aries Astrology, Astrology for Happiness and Success uh, so that's a good t name for a notebook uh, this is just says Aries and it has the glyph for the Aries sign um, Aries personality that's not really what we want Aries of you and me again these are just title ideas for you to uh, put on the front of your book diary that's a nice one the art of living well and finding happiness this is just another constellation journal or notebook they've taken what the um, actual constellation looks like this is a create space book and I'm also looking at pricing so I can see that I can price my book $7.99 um, this was $6.99 so pretty standard prices uh, going all the way up to this one here this is not really a notebook uh, it's, a, it's a book about astrology so I probably wouldn't go much higher than $9.99 if I was pricing my book so let's just quickly go through a couple of the other signs and I think you can get the hang of what we're doing. I'll give you the list of all the signs too. So Taurus, oops, T-A-U-R-U-S, Taurus Astrology, okay, Taurus Notebook, don't really have that, Taurus Zodiac, Taurus Journal. Okay, there's journal and there's book. Taurus book. Let's take a look at Taurus book. Okay, that has 5,000 results, but it's only searched 90 times. So let's take a look again. Taurus journal. Let's try Taurus journal. Okay, Taurus Journal is looking a little bit more promising. It only has 192 results. And this is a nice convention right here, what somebody has done. Um, they've taken 
uh, and looked up what the different aspects of Taurus are and they've used it for their cover and turn this into a very nice looking notebook. So that would be something that I would look into doing something perhaps similar. Uh, maybe find synonyms for these words. We don't want to copy other people's books. Uh, again, this is really pretty. That's sort of a, the glyph of Taurus made in a floral design targeting women. But I would use Taurus Journal looks like a very promising title convention for the book because it has very low results and it's searched 70 times a month so that makes a lot of sense to me and then get some ideas based upon what other people have done and then we'll do Gemini let's do Gemini journal again let's see what we get okay there's 40 searches and only 185 so it looks like the word journal is working for me this person again has uh, showed up with their um, looking at the different aspects of Gemini and putting that on the cover. This person has done the zodiac itself, the uh, zodiac in the sky constellation. This one also. Uh, these you can actually get at places like Creative Market. Um, so you just have to look up places that sell the constellations. Uh, this one has done what uh, sort of the, it's not a glyph, but it's the personification of what Gemini is. It's twins. So that's a nice one. Um, so if I was doing something like this, instead of doing it just like this, I might try and alter the cover just a little bit so it doesn't look exactly the same. And this one has done a monogram, taking the, again, the glyph of the twins and then putting it on some sort of a leathery looking cover. Keep calm, I'm a Gemini. That's another popular one. And so getting ideas. So it looks like the word journal is a very popular one to use uh, that's got very low results but has decent enough search um, that you can actually get your book found. And if you, you know, have a few friends that their birthday's coming up, then you certainly can uh, get your friends to per you buy the book for your friend and give it to them and then you have some sales or you tell your friends about it that are that sign and then they buy the book themselves. So hopefully that has given you some ideas of how you're going to search. You want to do the search, look at astrology, notebook, journal, look at your volume, look at how many results exist, and you want to, of course, install these tools as well as search in incognito mode. Let me uh, preface how to do this. When you uh, download the tool from Chrome, you're going to go to Manage Extensions on each one and you're going to go down and you're going to click on this box that says allow in incognito and then you'll make sure it's toggled over here. You need to do that to each one because it defaults to being off. So if you're not seeing it just go and click on manage extension and then toggle that on. So hopefully this has been helpful for you. I will post this video and it'll give you some ideas of how you can actively search in this niche and position your book so that it can be found and purchased. Have a great day and enjoy. Bye-bye.